I go to sleep, I go far away. If you forgot your dreams, just remember to love. It's important to remember your dreams. Yo, peace, like, share, subscribe. This is Aquastone Throne. Yo, this is gonna be real on the fly. Um, I just literally walked in the door, set up my set up my camera because uh I I just got a lot going through me right now, so I really want to tap in. This video is gonna basically be about um what karma and dharma really is and how it plays out in the electromagnetic universe that we all play in. And so um Basically, I just basically wanted to start off by saying, um, giving you a breakdown of, of, of my thought process and, and how I perceive the reality. Um, so there really are different levels of the body, you know, and um, you could look into stuff like this with uh, Kabbalah and things like that. They also say that every 10 years is a different level that you go through your consciousness until you get to supposable 120 12 you know like if, if we all live it if if we all are living our most divine life living off of nature and just being like um high vibrational it's said that this body is supposed to have an expiration date of 120 um and this is all ancient knowledge right so it's interesting because there's 12 months you know there's a, it's it's so it's literally like kind of like a cycle or um you know, it's kind of going throughout the entire wheel, right? If you think about it, right? And so, um, basically, what karma and dharma really is now, if you, if you have, you, if you of yourself have come to the conclusion that everything is energy, right? So, all of this is just vibrating at such a rapid ve velocity that it's it's allowing my brain to think things are solid but it's really not this is all science it's good this, this is nothing of me, of any conspiracy science proves that everything is in constant flux going from one pole to the other pole you know what i'm saying this is like uh republicans and democrats you know like it's this is the type of understanding that allows people that know what's going on to completely control shut off individuals that have absolutely no idea what's going on and so when you know that everything is in flux and you know that this is an electromagnetic spectrum which we're playing in um the only things that really kind of make sense are locations and times so you can have you can meet somebody like let's just say if you want to bring somebody into your reality and at 12 o'clock at a coffee shop you would need a time and a location so you need particular coordinates in the time space the dimension matrix in order to bring things into manifestation and so the reason why i'm telling you this is because the real world is the dream world I'm not going to get too deep into uh, the philosophy of 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 how you got here and how and how you did all that and and how you're living this reality. That's for you to figure out. But I know for a fact that the real world really is the dream world, and so this is why it's, it's this is why there are sayings. You know, it was all a dream. Biggie Smalls, Jay Z says it like every. It's a it's. A, just live your dream and so on and when you really think about these things and you really start to understand how magical of a realm that this reality really is it's 100% factual and so um, with that being said now if you if you are able to reprogram your mind to understand that the dream world is the drawing board for this reality it things become a lot more clear and start making a lot more sense um, something like karma and dharma you know some, you some they they throw these people throw around these words in the conscious community um but they really don't give a true understanding of how this can happen and so i just clearly said that in order for things to work in this reality you need a location and a time so that's an energy signature right now certain things come into manifest a lot quicker 
certain things come into manifestation a lot slower. So, for example, when I was like, um, when I was 20, you know, I was going to college and shit and I dropped out because I hated it. I knew what was going on. I knew what was up. And I really wanted to work with Jay-Z. And so I dropped out of school, started going to engineering school in Manhattan. And I would call the studio up where Jay worked at. You know, I, I went through all of his, like, uh, back then they had, like, physical CDs and tapes. So you'd see all of the credits. I found out where, where Sun was based at. And I literally stalked the owner of that um, studio for, like, a good five months straight like no no exaggeration called every single day every single day every single day then i finally got in touch with uh his jay-z's uh engineer call him every single day yo i'm busy call me back yo i'm busy yo oh shit uh oh he's not here today call him back da, 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 da. what this really did right this this time frame of three to four months of me praying to God to get this job, all this was, was confirmation that I will 100% work with Jay-Z because it had to. The, I, I myself had put such a tremendous focus on working with this man and thinking about this every single day. Every single day, numerous times throughout the day. That's all I literally thought about. And in all honesty, I don't think I've ever had such a focused mind in my life since that. Because I wanted this so bad. And I was able to bring it into my, manif my manifestation. And so I was finally able to get up there, get an interview, and get in the door up at Baseline. But that's really how I was able to bring that into my reality. You know? People would say, oh, he got lucky, this and that. That's not how things work. There is no such thing as luck in this universe. And so when you, when you really understand that the mind really is truly over, over matter, you can manipulate it, but you have to have extreme focus. So now back to karma and dharma. What these things are and how they play out in the reality is just like this, right? When you meet an individual, there's an energy exchange immediately. Every time you, you lock an eye with somebody, whether it be, there's two different ways you could lock eyes with somebody, but basically you're connecting and closing a circuit when each pupil meets, meets one another, right? And so when you connect and uh, when you close a circuit, you're really exchanging etheric energy. You're, exchange, you're exchanging a lot more energy than you're aware of because you have other bodies around you. You have shams around you. You have light bodies around you. You have an aura around you. That's what that is, right? That's how they say aura. But it's actually, in, it's, it's like, imagine electric bolts just rocking off of you, but you can't see it. So this is kind of what that is, right? And so all of us are all of us are in constant communication and in constant communion with each other, even even if we're just sitting next to one another. You know what I mean? And so when you really start um, working together cohesively on one particular dream or goal with other individuals, you start seeing synchronicities, right? You start seeing coincidences things like this this is because in the dream world like minds of the same frequency and the same um the, the you know the same things that people want to bring into this into this world they want to manifest this at the same level and they have the same desires and pleasures and so when you have the same desires and pleasures and, we're, and when you're working with individuals of like minds, this is how coincidences happen. So let's just say you meet somebody and the energy is so intense, you guys got a lot in common, and then all of a sudden you guys start working on a business idea, and then all of a sudden you know you guys go uh, run into, uh, run into uh, I don't know, uh, a lawyer's office for some... Um, for some LLC uh, stuff that you got to do for your new business. And then all of a sudden, 
you know, you're at the uh, the at the lawyer's office, and then you see that both of you guys happen to know the receptionist at the lawyer's office. Coincidences like this are extreme things that need to be paid attention to, because coincidence allow coincidence allows you to see and and know whether or not you are on your right path in your manifestation process. Now, also, there are certain people that are very high in frequency, right? So there's certain people like, for example, in the, with the young culture today, Ice Spice, someone like that. There might be an, um, men that are absolutely in love with Ice Spice and every single night they're rubbing one off to Ice Spice, but they're not manifesting her. In order for you to really manifest someone, it has to be of a high frequency thought. So what I mean by that is sexuality, a lot of people in this world are stuck on gay, straight, trans, this, whatever. Yo, I really gotta be honest with you. I don't care if somebody's over here thinking that the doorknob is their boyfriend or girlfriend. I could give two shits about all that. I just know that sexual energy is the strongest energy in this dimension and one that they confuse you about to keep you stupid. And unfortunately, most people are extremely stupid. And most people are extremely over-sexualized. And when you look at the human body, it's the lower head, right? It's literally the lower portion. So if you're constantly thinking with your lower portion, you can never have divine thought. You can never allow the creator, the father, to commune with you and to work with you to, to manifest and have thought of extreme intelligence or extreme creative ability because you're always in your lowest center. The body has different centers, you know what I mean? And so um, that's basically kind of what karma and dharma really is. So uh, now when you meet people, right, in the dream world, you know, we all have different interactions. But a lot of us that aren't of full awakeness and not have done the spiritual divine work of uncovering the shadow and either dissipating the shadow and allowing the, the shadow to die, that way you could just be all like all light, or you could work with the shadow and just be a balanced individual. But most people do not think like this, and most people don't do the spiritual work. So when you do the spiritual work, you're able to see things a lot more clearer. But when you're not able to see things, you can't really understand karma and dharma. So what I mean by this is that, like, let's just say uh, I own a coffee shop and somebody comes in all the time and, and we got a great report and we talk and, and we talk a lot and we talk a lot. And then, and then, and, and then finally, and finally, from so much talking, we realize that we have a lot more in common and then we start doing something else, right? like a, a different creative outlet or something like that, right? Or maybe we both find out that we're both in the music and then we collaborate on a record, right? Things like these come over time. Now, there are certain things that take longer to manifest, right? Now, the real reason why things take longer to manifest is because most people here cannot really do not have this type of information because they haven't done the spiritual and conscious work to become whole and divine once again. And that's why when you find like uh, very like famous people that are a little bit more tapped in, have a little bit more knowledge and understanding, like let's just say uh, somebody like a Pharrell and Jay-Z, for example, these guys are of a higher understanding and they're, and they're much more creative. So they're able to manifest much more quickly and strongly and bring bring creations into this dimension that much more easily. Now, if you're working with somebody that is, uh, let's just say it's you and your husband or your wife, and one of you guys is extremely spiritual and the other one has absolutely no spiritual spirituality whatsoever, it might be much harder for both of you guys to to, to design the lifetime that you guys want compared to somebody, compared to a couple where both people are on the same, the same understanding. 
and the same level of thought and clarity and vibrational frequency. They're able to manifest more and bring more into the reality a lot quicker. You know, so it's very important to understand these things because a lot of people are like, uh, you know, completely controlled by the illusion. You know, there's Palestine and Israel, there's the Republicans, the Democrats, and when you have no information and no, and when you completely lack knowledge of self and the dimension where you play, you will be continually lost, um, controlled, manipulated, very low vibrational, and not really in your full power. So I basically just wanted to uh, make this little video because it was going through my mind, so I was like, yo, let me just put on the camera and say what I gotta say. Um, if y'all have any questions, you could reach out to me. Uh, Aquastone Throne, like, share, subscribe, check me out, check out my music. I'm dropping a new track soon. I hope y'all check it out. I love y'all. Peace. Ah, excuse me. When I go to sleep, I go far away. If you forgot your dreams, just remember to love. 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 It's important to remember your dreams. It was all a dream.